The birth of their first baby brought great joy to Bhatja and his wife. The couple are goat herders living in Mongolia's countryside. Soon after the baby was born, Mr. Bhatja left home to make a claim for government maternity benefits for his wife. After filling in a few forms and handing over documents, Mr. Batchev got a benefits card. The process was fast and easy, but that wasn't always the case. Mongolia is one of the most sparsely populated countries in the world. In the past, Mongolians often had to travel a long way and visit several government offices to claim benefits. It was particularly hard for herders like Batchev, who lived in remote rural areas and had livestock that can't be left for long. So even though Mongolia has a fairly good social security system, more than 80% of herders, self-employed people, and informal economy workers didn't have adequate income security. To tackle the problem, the Mongolian government introduced One Stop Shops, or OSS services, in 2007. Help was given by the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation. The OSS gathers together a number of government ministries and offices in one venue. From there, they can offer a range of services such as social welfare, social insurance, employment and civil registration. The scheme helps claimants access public services more quickly and efficiently. All Mongolia's AMEGs or provinces now have OSS offices. Since first establishment in 2007 until September 2011, more than 3.8 million customers visited the one-stop shops. More than two-thirds were women. The government has also launched mobile OSS services. This means government officers from different departments take services right to the door. More than 600 people have already benefited from this. Other Southeast Asian countries are now interested in following Mongolia's example of coordinated social welfare service delivery. To help them, the International Labor Organization, with support from the ILO Japan Multilateral Program, launched a project helping Mongolia and the ASEAN countries exchange experiences. As a result of visiting Mongolia and learning about the scheme there, the Cambodian government is piloting social service delivery mechanisms in two of its provinces. Indonesia will be expanding the single window approach to all its provinces. Thai representatives were particularly interested in the decentralized approach for public services, and the government is now discussing using this to improve coordination and delivery. Single window services are an important element in the successful implementation of social protection floors.